Hey guys, welcome to another video for the legendary POCO F1 and I'm sounding excited because Evolution X version 5.8 with June security patch has made its way through to this wonderful wonderful device. I've just flashed it some time back and I'm already liking the look and feel of it. So of course this is not a quick review but this is a first impressions in which I will tell you what all did I notice, what has changed and how does it make this ROM better for this device. But before we get into all of that, if you have haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where we have more than thousand members helping each other you can join in and have some fun last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going Alright, so first things first, as always, we will talk about the changelog. Now remember, this is not an official version, this is unofficial, but it does have the June update. It has so many changes, right? June security patch addressed this, this, more lock screen clocks, added interfont style. So basically, they have worked a lot and made a lot of changes on the ROM and the kernel side as well. This is the same etude kernel, right? So we will see in one of the gaming live streams if it gives us any better performance or not. But let's start from the face of the ROM. And while I say that, if you have a look, the animation is so much better and so subtle compared to MIUI or any other, you know, manufacturer based Android skin. And I really, really like it. So a very, very clean, interface over here to the left you have google discover which works flawlessly although this is a 60 hertz device right 60 hertz display but it feels very very smooth a very very normal app drawer very few applications remember this is the g apps version that i have flashed and it does come with google apps and the google camera go now you do see that it has app lock as well which you can unlock using the pattern the touch fingerprint scanner and you can use face as well right so in this case we will go ahead and use the pattern because this came back from google yeah whatever happened there one of these two devices google auntie woke up anyways so google camera go is there portrait mode and all the other basic options are working absolutely fine apart from this if you press and hold over here and go to home settings you will notice that it does come with the pixel launcher which has some basic customizations if you go to recents you do have the screenshot option where you can edit sc scroll and share and you do have the select option which works like a boss so all the Typical Android 11 goodies are working better than expected. The reason I say better than expected is because it is very, very smooth. I've been making calls and doing all the other things on this particular SIM card and I've not had any problem. For that matter, let's try to call a random number and see if we have call recording. Right, so you don't have call recording, but that's fine. This is a G apps version that we are using and I think I we, we don't really have a vanilla version and I really hope we get the official version. So when you scroll from the top to bottom, you get the notification tiles and you have a ton of them. The interesting ones are of course the screen recorder. Now look at the amount of options that you have in the screen recorder of Evolution X for the Pocophone F1. You can record internal and external audio, you can show touches on screen, you can show dot to stop recording, lower recording quality if you are running out of space, bigger file size limit, limit recording to 15 gigabytes of size so for example i have a 128 gigabyte variant and i want to record a lot of my gameplay and stuff i can really really do that at the same time let's select internal and external audio and let's start recording there you go the recording has started and as you can see i cannot see any performance degradation over here right it's working smooth as butter and you can tap over here and you can stop the recording 
Now later you do have an option to delete or share it but that is that and as I said this ROM comes pretty deep bloated it doesn't have a lot of application pre-built so the ROM flies it's pretty pretty smooth it has been working great and the camera duties are taken care of by Google Camera Go now when you go to the settings it is a very very normal and standard Android 11 affair but you do have something important called as the evolver which allows you to customize the whole ROM in a whole different level now that is the the reason this ROM is no known for its customization you have teams status bar notifications quick settings power menu gestures lock screen buttons animations miscellaneous and then you have about evolution X so I can go into each and every section and I can show you that you know this this is how it looks I think they have already started taking cues from the Android 12 betas you see a lot of ROMs doing that to be very very honest and that is a good thing right lock screen clock style you have so many options if you go to status bar you have an option to you know customize the battery indicator battery percentage you can keep it next to the icon and stuff like that now moving on you do have a ton of customization and it would be a 30 minute long video if i were to go through each and every option the android 11 easter egg of course is working just fine and if you go to about phone and then if you go to the android version you would see that it comes with the etude kernel that is the latest one and it does get the june security patch with android 11 and the android 11 easter egg the cat game working absolutely fine there you go the cat has arrived she should be here any moment all right so that's that's just the fun part you can always play around with it if you want but what I'm trying to say over here is not only the customization options not only the features and everything else all the things like YouTube playback screen recording the smoothness the you know promise of using this ROM as a daily driver is there and you would not really have a problem if you flash this on your Poco Phone F1 now along with this for this device I do have another four or five videos coming on all the ROMs that have been recently updated so there will be at least one POCO video at least for this week and next week every day because this right here is a legend we are not going to leave the legend out we will support it just like the developers let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps keep smiling take care goodbye